Hi folks, thank you very much for joining me. See what I've got. My very first valve driven overdrive, this one from Jim Hagerman out in Hawaii. I've wanted to try a valve powered overdrive for quite a while. I'll go into more detail in a minute as to why I've got this one. Um, but suffice to say, 12AX7 running at high voltage, so high that my Voodoo Labs power pedal brick thing doesn't have enough milliamp current. So I'm using his provided plug thing. So I've got the pedal on from the very start. We're gonna hit it with my Gibson Les Paul for exactly four minutes before I talk anymore. Through the Marshall because my Cornell is still being, it's out, out in Glasgow being serviced. The pedal's on from the very start and I've got the, the drive up full because I like to ride the wave of sheer, uh, you know, and then turn the guitar pot down maybe to number eight. So the pedal's on from the very start. EQ's more or less 12 o'clock, level down to accommodate the fact that I've got so much drive going. And I'll try throughout this four minutes to bring in little bits of power and, and throughout the rest of the video so you'll see the full thing. Let's hear it with my Gibson Les Paul. <laughs>
Right, excuse my socked feet. I'm going to be very quick here because this, this part of any video is the most boring part, so I'll be dead quick. Let's see if we can get this down in one minute. There's not a lot to show you on the pedal. So here's the amplifier's core tone with the pedal off. There's my guitar pop fully up. So it's broken up, breaking up slightly. With pedal on, and leaving the guitar pop full up. It's practically fuzzy. I love that tone, but I'm going to, I would then take my tone pot down, but I'm just going to leave it full up for just now so you can see the extremes. There's 12 o'clock on the drive and the level up a little bit to compensate. And then when you bring the drive down beneath that, is the pedal really doing anything for you other than... I'll put the level up a bit. There's the drive down at like just past nine o'clock, not even ten o'clock yet. So to me, in fact I'll start talking to you again. Hello. In fact, let me cut in here. Before I babble, let's hear it with a P90 and some single, other more traditional single coils. Um, and then I'll give you my closing thoughts on it for just now. called Joe Perkins. I am subscribed to his channel and he's 
really into the minutia and the detail of all things analog and tone and, and that kind of stuff. And I watch his channel and I was looking at him sort of falling in love with these valve driven overdrives. I think his favourite at, at the moment is the Kingsley Page, which you might have spied on, on my board. That'll be next week's video. I'll do a video on the Kingsley Page. Um, and so I was like, are valve pedals into my valve amp, not just valves on valves and that's just, hear the noise, not just overkill. And he explained very clearly that if you've got the valve driven more than halfway on the drive, then the valve's starting to actually work. Beneath that, maybe I'm right, maybe there's not a great deal. You can use it as a boost, whatever, to push your valve amp into order. But if you've got your drive above halfway, the valve's actually starting to do stuff and it could be like another channel on your amp sort of thing. Or if you've got an amp that's, like I quite like to fancy at one point buying one of these little tweed amps. I might buy a Flynn 5 watt tweed made by that guy in Glasgow, Flynn, Flynn amps. But it's useless to me without some sort of way of getting it to drive because I'm in the house all the time. So this could be the drive channel of a Fender Champ, a tweed champ. So I don't know. Um, it does give you a beautiful fat thump in the face. I have to say, more than any other, maybe the Mojo Mojo is quite a fat sounding pedal, but this definitely has something. The jury's out long term as to how I'll feel about it if, if it's going to be just a rabbit hole. Anyway, I very much like it. The question is, is it, if I just turn my amp up louder, Will it give me the same thing? I've tested that and no, this does give me a, a fatness that is quite addictive and I find myself playing it every day. So all I can say is I'm very much enjoying it. I'll compare, I'll do one on the page next time. I'll do a video on the page and then maybe the hat trick, I'll do a quick comparison between the two. Everything from build quality to sound and so on. But I've got to say, I'm very much enjoying this at the moment. So, I will bid you farewell. This was not a freebie. Thank you so much to Jim Hagerman for getting it to me nice and safely. Um, I'm not sponsored in any way. I'm doing this, I, I sought this pedal out. I deliberately wanted to get this pedal and also the Kingsley page. So thank you very much to Jim. And I will see you on the next video where I will uh, look at the page valve driven overdrive and see how I feel about that one. Oh, me and the rabbit holes, eh? Anyway, have a lovely day. See you soon.